I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up. Dr. Martin Luther King was a beacon of light and advocate for change. He believed in freedom for all and worked his entire life to promote racial desegregation and reduce poverty. This year marks his 80th birthday. On Monday, people from around the globe celebrated the life and work of this great man. Perkins School for the Blind in Watertown was no exception. It was a day filled with song, hope, and remembrance as the students and staff came together to honor and reflect Dr. King's legacy. The day began with the chamber choir singing Standing in the Need of Prayer. The main event was a speech given by Micheline Flattery, a former slave. President Stephen Rostein introduced her and opened up audiences' minds as he spoke about slavery's prevalence in the world today. Former slave Micheline Flattery then shared her remarkable story of pain, hope, and defiance. For 12 years, I was abused in every imaginable way, physically, sexually, emotionally, and psychologically, you name it. For 12 years, I believed that God was trying to punish me for one reason or another. I am here to share the story of those 12 years of enslavement with you. At age five, she was orphaned by her aunt and uncle and forced to become a child slave. By the time I was five, I had already lost both of my parents. The natural step to do was to move in with my aunt and uncle in the village of Shakmel. Instead of them caring for me, they made me what we call in Haiti their gestaveg, meaning a child slave belonging to a family. In that moment, I had lost my childhood forever. Her hope is that with increased awareness, people will become more tolerant and understanding of different cultures and backgrounds. I speak out because the vast majority of the world has no idea that slavery still exists. When I tell them that I was a slave once, they look at me like I was crazy. They think slavery ended in 1865 with the Emancipation Proclamation because that's what they were taught in their US history classes. No one has ever told them that today in 2009, in every continent but Antarctica, that an estimated 27 million men, women, and children are still living without the most basic human right, freedom. I was able to speak to some of the students about this great event. What I really feel about Martin Luther King, about the uh, Martin Luther King Day Assembly, is that was is that very moving, and and I really liked it how when our when our guest speaker came up, and and talked about. Uh, what it was like being a slave. I think that, you know, it's a good thing to make sure that Martin Luther King has, has his recognition. Um, people, people used to put so much emphasis on, on race when we're all human beings and on the inside we're all the same. You don't judge a, 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 a green apple and you're like, oh, that's a green apple or from a red apple. You know, it's, it's, it's still an apple. I had the pleasure of speaking with Micheline herself. I knew, I knew that, that all men were equal. I knew that, you know, that one day that there wouldn't be any difference. But to actually live today to see Martin Luther King dream actually will come to pass. And, 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 and to be alive, to actually see an African American is going to be the first president of the United States. It's just, I don't even know what to, what to say or how to ex express it. It's, it's great to know that when I have kids, I can actually tell my, my child or my children that you can be anything you want to be. For Watertown Weekly News, this is Ashley Hunt.